So then, let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. First Thessalonians chapter 5 verses 6. Hello family, a very warm welcome back to the Lovely Starch Food channel. Thank you so much for coming back. In today's recipe, we are going to be making a special loaded Ghanaian palm nut soup for a special Sunday like this. Happy Palm Sunday, everyone. I hope you are having a good palm nut soup today. If not, it's not too late. Go get your ingredients ready and let's start cooking. It is absolutely delicious. It is so, so good. One of the best palm nut soup I've ever, ever made. It is so incredibly tasty. So please sit back, relax and enjoy and of course each and every ingredient will be listed below in the description box here are my protein a bit of vegetables i do have some fresh tomatoes peppers onions a bit of seasoning some salt check out my stockfish and i'm using the inkulinu palm nut base and i do use the one with turkey berries and the Precursor that is the aging fruit. It is super super amazing and I tend to enjoy my palm nut soup most Once all the protein that I use is being smoked. So this is exactly what I'm going to do This is the goat meat without the skin So I'm just going to put it in the oven for a little bit just so that it smokes nice and very well it Just add a little more aroma and flavor to the soup. I'll be doing the same thing with my fish as well okay so if you're using fresh meat you can go ahead and use it if that's what you love but i love it a little bit smoked so i'm going to put them in the oven for about 35 minutes at 170 degrees celsius so while waiting i'll go ahead and prep for the other ingredients first off i want to go ahead and dilute my palm nut base it is very very important to just make sure that you mix it very well before using okay because it has a little bit of sand underneath that you want to really get rid of it you don't want it to end up in your soup at all so what i do is put everything in a bowl and i'll then add about two to three cups of hot boiling water mix everything very well together and i'll just allow it to rest for about 10 to 15 minutes before i will go ahead and use it okay this is where i almost was done with my meat okay so i just went ahead to make this happen i am absolutely in love with the inkulinu brand they have a best palm nut base so if you found yourself not in ghana but in the diaspora and you want to enjoy a very good palm nut soup go for the inkulinu this is not sponsored okay i am just telling it saying it as it is okay so now i'm going to prep all my other ingredients i'll start with the onions i'm going to chop half of a large onion i use the yellow onion you can go ahead and use the white or the red onion as well okay make sure you chop them into very nice fine sizes like this once you're done set it aside and go ahead and chop the rest of your vegetables the next vegetable that i'm going to chop will be my aubergine or my eggplant i love 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 eggplant in my palm nut soup i feel like it gives it a very nice and amazing taste and this also serves as take that to anyone who want their soups a little bit more thick okay so it's amazing i love love it it's also very very healthy so i'm going to set both aside And I'll go ahead and start to chop my other ingredients. I have some spinach. I love me some green lately in my palm nut soup. I feel like it gives it a beautiful color and aroma and even taste as well. So I'm going to chop few spinach, very fresh one, and some fresh okra as well. Having lots of greens in the soup will not hurt anyone. It really really adds up to everything okay so these are all the little preps that i have to make and once each and everything is off the way our soup is literally very easy to make at this point okay so now i'm going to check up on my goat meat and my fish as you can see it has really baked nicely but i didn't just get it as i wanted 
um as i would find in ghana but i'm just so so glad with that so now everything has come off together let's now start our soup preparation so in my pot i'm going to add all my proteins here i use the cow foot which is also smoked and of course my oven baked <laughs> shabo shabo <laughs> goat meat i'm going to put everything in the pot and add my chopped onions now i'll go in with my homemade all-purpose natural spice blend both the cubes and the powder and i also add a good amount of salt as well it is so important to also begin the steaming process with your precursor or aden fruit it just gives it that beautiful aroma the nice earthy aroma that you want to have in your palm nut soup it is absolutely incredible so i'm going to allow this to steam for about 10 to 15 minutes on a low to medium heat and you just want to make sure that you stir it very well to avoid the pot from burning okay so i was there for for the first time cover it allow it to steam again for about 15 minutes more and then i'll go in with my palm nut base and as you can see do not add everything at once there is a little bit of stones and so you just want to make sure that it does not end in your soup okay that's the whole idea of you you know mixing it and allowing it to sit for a while all right so now i will go in with my vegetables i'm adding three large tomatoes and the half onion that i chopped and saved later i'm going to add here my two habanero pepe i'm also going to add some stock fish aka kako this one was unsalted i really really love it in my palm nut soup i think it gives it that aroma that i need okay i went ahead to add a little bit more of hot water and just allow the soup to boil down and make sure that each and every vegetable that i put in here is very nice and soft and i'm going to take each and every one out and blend it and later add it back to the soup you can also see for yourself the amount of palm oil that i have been able to collect from this i really missed that part but i really took a lot of palm oil from this soup it's going to help me make my delicious abo mo. if you know you know the palm oil collected from soups always hit different so i just love making palm not soup just because of the oil that i also get it is absolutely incredible so i'm going to put everything together mix it very well and i'll then go ahead and add my chopped spinach can you see those color combination they are simply incredible and now i'm going to go ahead and make sure that each and every part is really really mixed well i'll also go ahead and add some eggplant in here as well and just allow everything to boil for at least 20 minutes boy oh boy this soup was amazing ankasa it was really really good the aroma and everything was just on point from the precursor alone just took everything to the next level i'm going to add extra hot peppers for each and everyone who had extra heat in their mouth of course you have to make sure you meet the needs of each and everyone who is going to consume this soup so after 20 good minutes of it boiling i just went ahead to lower it and i just wanted it to simmer for an extra five minutes and my soup was ready now you can go ahead and serve this with your fufu your rice bowls banku even simple rice i love my with simple rice as well especially when the soup is a little bit thick oh boy obwasi girl is here it's so so good on this palm sunday however we did not do fufu we went with rice balls and it was amazing i've shared rice balls recipe on this channel and also rice fufu it is amazing you need to learn new ways of making this it will make you enjoy your rice balls more and if you make it rice fufu you just want to go ahead and add a little bit of okra as you already know okra will help you swallow things very very easy so you just want to add a little bit there it's important okay so there you have it family thank you so much for watching right to the end 
I hope you learned a thing or two and please do not forget to give me a thumbs up. It really, really helped your, this channel grow and it also boosts my spirit up. <laughs> So please go ahead and share with your friends and family as well. And if this is your first time here, hello, my name is Lovia from Lovey Stach. My main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home. I also love to share kitchen related motivational videos. So please come on board and subscribe to join the family for amazing new recipes every week thank you so very much family for watching once again and as always know that you are so beautiful just the way you are i will see you in my next one have a blessed day bye <laughs>